I was gonna. That's my GoPro, but. Uh, there it is. Where? Right there. Oh. Wow. That is the International Space Station. Cool. How far do you think it is? 200 miles. Wow. Straight up. Awesome. Are you filming it? Yeah. Is it falling? No, just kidding. It is falling. It falls all the way around the Earth. It falls around the curve of the Earth. That's what an orbit is. Mm -hmm. It's, you yeah. So for all you flat earthers out there, uh, <laughs> there it goes. That is not a plane. That is a space station in orbit. Oh, I'm glad you reminded me. I almost forgot. We came out here just in time. Yeah. One hour later. Just heard the mail. I heard the mail slot move. What have we here? Yes, sir. Two days. Two days from Ohio. Not bad. Well, what's in the box? <laughs> Hey there, FPV pilots. Smooth virus, call sign virus. And uh, you might notice my voice is a little different because I'm nursing a monster head cold right now. So I had some time to work on the wing wing today. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Esteban. I think I'm pronouncing that right. From Miami. And uh, I had an issue the other night where I was missing these little clips out of my wing wing kit. Now I don't know if they fell out or if uh, I just never got them, but well I don't know if they fell out of the box is what I mean, but I put up a post on RC groups and I was like, you know I can order a new set from China for $2.50 that comes with like 20 of them and I'm gonna have to wait three or four weeks and I'd rather get the Wing Wing built before that, and sure enough, someone on RC Group stepped up and said, I'll drop a couple in the mail for you, and sure, and uh, I got them uh, a few days later, so uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving from Esteban, and we are all set, so awesome, that's, that's what this hobby's about, man, you know, helping each other out, and uh, backing each other up, so Wing Wing is coming along, uh, I got servos in, I got the push rods in, um, still kind of working on it, uh, still a lot of work to do, got to put the v FPV system in it, and I need to get a cable that can, has a right angle so I can get to this USB, but should have it flying soon, um, yeah, that's about all there is to say about that, I'm going to put a little magnet in here. I'll do that. I'll finish that up tonight. A little magnet in here to hold the canopy on and should have this in the air pretty soon. So, but this is not the uh, main topic of this evening. Here's the here's the mailbag for tonight. So let's grab a hobby knife and um, so this is <laughs> this is the replacement for the mini talon that I lost back in September, I think it was. I've been wanting to get one of these for months, and just was building a whole bunch of other planes and doing other stuff, so I I didn't get around to it. But uh, there was the flat spin sale over at ReadyMade, and. Uh, there was a deal I couldn't pass up. I was like, I, I have to jump on this. 
because I know I'm going to get this plane anyway. So I went ahead and, and pulled the trigger. Let's see what we got here. Carefully. All right. That would be pretty spectacular if I managed to cut the crap out of myself on a vlog, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't even need it. <laughs> well, I guess that explains that. Uh, yeah, it's a goblin. Strix goblin. Wanted one of these for a long time. So finally. Finally got one. Oh my goodness. That is oh there's the okay, well there's the dummy loads. So I don't go cause uh, security alerts at Fort McNair anymore. So I've got that. Looks like they threw a prop in. I think that's the same prop the Wing Wing uses. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that must be the fuse. Nice. Everything's all boxed individually. <laughs> Look at that. I should have this going in no time. Really all I need at this point is a Dragon Link receiver for it. So I already have a vector standing by. All right. Sweet. And that plastic's tough. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Cobra electronic speed controller. Looks like I got a... I guess that's for a flight controller? I'll figure it out. Where that's supposed to go. But, uh... Awesome. So this is going to be fast. I kind of need to decide what um, what camera setup I'm going to use. I've got a Runcam Owl sitting in a box, and I've got an extra uh, Runcam HD. Looks like this is just tack glued. Maybe I'll mess with that later. I got a Runcam HD too. Maybe I'll just use that. I was kind of thinking of going with the Runcam Split on this, but maybe I'll just use what I have. I already spend a lot of money so uh, gotta stick to a budget this is gonna be a whole lot of fun man this puppy is fast I like the plastic yeah I've wanted one of these forever all right so there's the fuse and let's see what we got we've got a manual If you, if you plan to be regularly exceeding 100 miles per hour, it is recommended to reinforce the hinges. All right. Cool. I'm assuming this is probably the wings. And there's the decals. Of course, I'll have to throw some of my pirate flags on there. Cool. Looks like servos are already mounted. All right. Double bag, too. See, that's the extra touch of quality, ready-made. You know, some of these planes I get, they kind of slap everything in a box. Cough, cough. Skywalker. But you can tell this was packed with care. Ooh. I have to throw some uh, Blenderm on that, but all right. 
Yeah, not a big plane. It's it's rather small. Okay, so we've got our work uh, our work cut out for us. We've got builds to do. So, all right. Well, there we go. Goblin is here. Um, and we'll start the build on that. What am I getting stuck on? Nothing. All right. All right, guys. Well, there you go. One Strix Goblin. New addition to the fleet. 140 mile per hour of football. <laughs> All right. I guess that's about it. So, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Smooth virus out.